Hi YouTube, in this video we're going to critique another drawing that was posted on the Ricks Can Do It Realistic Drawing Group in Facebook. Okay, so you see here on the left, this is the drawing that was posted on the group discussion board. And over here is the reference photo from which this drawing is uh, taken from. And so what I want to do is kind of point out a few things that could uh, help this drawing come closer to being photorealistic. But first off, I do want to say that this is a very nice drawing on its own and if the artist for example isn't trying to to make it photorealistic then you know it is is it's really nice it's a nice drawing however um, the majority of those who post on that group are attempting to bring their drawings up uh, to be more realistic, to be more like the original, and for that reason, critiques and suggestions are requested, and uh, that's what I'm going to do here. Now, there's a, a couple of things that popped out at me right away when I looked at this, and so that's what I'm going to bring out uh, in, in this video. Now, first off, I've sized these so that they would be pretty much the same exact size so that we can make a, a, a really good comparison here. And the first thing that, that stands out to me is the hair. The hair here differs a lot from the hair here. Now, even though we can take a lot of um, license in, in drawing the hair uh, not exact to um, the original, we want to get close. And we definitely want to try to mimic its highlights and so forth. If you look here in the original on our hair, you can see that these areas right here where my arrow is uh, moving over, it's dark. These are all dark, and the highlights here in this area are really toned down, very mid-tone, I would call this mid-tone. The dark area is dark, and you have mid, and then you have your light, like the forehead here. But on the drawing here, we can see that there is a whole lot of highlights here, and the midtones haven't been added, but instead it, everything's been made uh, very, very bright. So you definitely want to mimic this area here. All right, so we definitely want to tone this down here. Yeah, I'm a quick learner. Look at that. I already got this Photoshop thing all figured out. So here we go. I'm toning this area down here. And definitely want to get this around here darker like the original. So I'm going to kind of go over this drawing here, even though it's just a digital copy of the drawing itself. This here needs to be toned down, and the length, the length of the highlights is very short. So it's closer to the head, so you definitely want to get those down. This area right here is all dark, so I'm going to darken that until it comes to about right here. I'm going to use a smaller brush so I can get in here and not make things too goofy. See, this is darker here, darker here, all this is darker. And you just Take your dark pencil, whatever it is, a 9XXB or um, charcoal pencil, whatever it is you like to use to get in there and, and get dark. Okay, so that that's one area. Now the other area I want to focus on here is this eye right here. Let me get back to my cursor. This eye right here. And so that you can see, I'm going to zoom in on that eye, and then I'm going to zoom in on that eye here. OK, 
Okay, it's a little pixelated. I apologize, but it's it's not my photo, and uh, this is the way it was downloaded. So anyway, but I think we can I think we can see it enough to to talk about it. Notice the eyebrow here. The eyebrow here goes up to a point. Then it comes down like this. But do we see that over here in the original? No. So it's very important. We want to draw exactly what we see. And in this case, what we see is it goes up and then down in a nice curve. And this should do the same thing. Go up and then down into a nice curve. Um, I don't think I can do that. Let me see if I can do that. It's going to be kind of hard, but let's see that's dark here. But that should go up here, and it peaks right here as a round rounding. Okay, not as a peak. It shouldn't have a point to it. So I'm going to make it round here, and it comes out, and it rounds out right around here which is this area right here. You want to keep an eye on details as that. Every little detail makes a big difference on the drawing. Now the eye itself, I want you to take a look. Notice how the eye goes up, the eyelid, and then comes down right here. Okay, But here, this eyelid goes up and then hits a point again right up here. You see this point here and this point here are level, but here to here is in a downward slope. So this eye has a completely different shape than this one. This has a more almond, horizontal almond shape, and this one's got a diagonal almond shape to it. I'm going to take this whole eye here. I'm going to go to edit and copy, then I'm going to come over here, I'm going to go edit and paste. Now see this is different resolution so I have to make this bigger. Free transform. Hold the shift corner. Okay that might be it. Let's see. Now I'm going to put this eye here right where I think it needs to go. And I want you to see something really quick here. Let me go to uh, select here. Notice how by fixing that eye, and what I did is I've just duplicated this eye, but notice how fixing this eye, how this now looks so much more like this by fixing that one eye right here. What this tells you, and by the way, if you happen to have software like this or something you know similar to this you can do things like this to see what is it that is off on your drawing is it the eye is it the nose well by changing this one eye I could see that that this eye looks pretty good a um, little bit on the eyebrow here but it looks pretty good and the nose looks pretty good the mouth is okay yeah it's pretty good so here we're now getting much more of a realistic duplication of what we see here all by just me copying this eye. If you look here, the indentation on the face is a little more pronounced here than it is here. So I would definitely take some of this indentation off. You, you want a little bit, but not much. There's very little here. Let me deselect that. There we go. There's very little here, but it's much more pronounced right here, given that pear shape here. So I would definitely do away with that. Also, if you look down here, you see how this is nice and dark down here? But it's very light right here. So that also needs to uh, be darkened, the like 16%. There we go. So I'll just do that. And Bring that down a little bit. Okay, that matches that. Got definitely tone that down right here. 
the shadow under the eye across this temple bridge. Also, if you'll take a look at this here, there's an area right here. If I can get in here. Okay, this area right here okay, needs a little bit of fixing to match this. You can see, okay, this whole area here needs to be smoothed off. This eye here should come in, this eyelid should come in, start hugging down here, and this part should be moved up like this here. You can see this part here. It should be moved up to the eyebrows here, and then this part here, the skin goes right through like this, and that should go right through. But see, it's got that point that it hits right there. So that those are little details that uh, can be looked at. Okay. I think I'm zoom back out to fit on screen. Zoom that to fit on screen. There we go. So that's it for this video, guys. Um, I certainly hope that it helps, that it brings across the point that you really want to keep your eyes open for details and try to duplicate exactly what you see. And uh, in this case here, the hair and the eye here were the most important things that uh, need attention. Uh, then you have just other things that you can go in and start uh, improving on. But those would be two quick fixes that I would do right away to make this look more like this. All right, well, I hope you like this video. So please give me a thumbs up, leave comments below, subscribe if you haven't done so already, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.